Hi, I'm Ted East with Nokia Core Networks. And today I'm gonna to show you Core Network Software as a Service and what it can do for you. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is log in to our self-service interface. As we were designing this, you'll realize everything was designed for it to be self-service. Let's get started by selecting the catalog item. And first thing I'm gonna do is confirm I'm in the correct account. So as we select the first catalog item, you'll see there's several things that we can deploy. We can deploy a 5G mobile core, a packet core. I can even do a mobile core with local edge. And this is gonna allow me to put the UPF on the edge and do local breakout. So let's go ahead and select this one. Once we select the item, it gives us an overview of what we're gonna deploy. We can then select the software version that we're gonna be using for this deployment. The next step is now that we've decided what we wanna deploy, where do we wanna deploy it? So I'm gonna go ahead and select the region that I'm interested in. I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna start with Ohio. Now within that region, there's availability zones. So I have a little finer grain control of where we're deploying. The next step is what is the traffic model? And for today, I'm just gonna do data only for internet. Now I can customize this deployment. Do I need it to be a small, medium or large? And this changes the underlying resources that are gonna be provisioned. As we move on, if this was a commercial deployment, I could, sec I could select a second location. In this case, we'll select Virginia. And once again, select a different availability zone. But for today, we're just gonna do a pilot. The next step, since we are doing 5G core, but with edge, where do we want our edge location to be deployed? My first edge I'm gonna add in Chicago, and I can add additional edges. So Dallas, Atlanta, and we'll select one more as well. So we'll put one in New York. But to keep it simple, let's just start with one edge. Now that we've selected what we wanna deploy and where we wanna deploy it, let's go ahead and configure our network. We'll start by giving it a name and then which domain name we would like to use. I can bring my own domain or I can use a predefined one. In this case, I'll use Nokia SAS. Once I've done that, we need to select the PLM as we start to configure it. So I'll search for Nokia here, scroll down and select the PLM that's gonna be used and then give it an APN or DNN. In this case, I'm gonna use WAP1 Nokia.com. On the tracking areas, the same thing, we need to add a tracking area. In my lab today, I have a single tracking area, but I could easily upload a thousand tracking areas if needed. As we move on, we're not gonna do anything with billing, so I'm just gonna put a placeholder in it. That takes us to the test subscribers. Now, when you deploy a core, the first thing you wanna do is have this core be useful. So we can seed this deployment with a handful of test subscribers. Let's do exactly that. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter the information from my SIM cards. And we'll add the first test, test subscriber. Now that we have our first test subscriber, I can duplicate these. And if you're like me, the way I burn SIM cards is I just increment each one. And so now we have a handful of test subscribers. Advanced options, now this is really based on feedback that we've heard from the customers. It seems like no matter what IP address we use to deploy on, there's always a conflict. So we've taken a different approach. You tell us what IP is available within your network, and that's what all of our network will be derived from. Same thing, we want this 5G core to appear that is coming from your network, so you can actually bring your own IP blocks, and that's these IP blocks is what will be used in the UE pools. And so I'm gonna go ahead and enter an IP address here that we're gonna to bring to this deployment. And the last step is the metrics. So this, I'll go ahead and just put a placeholder in here as well. Now that we have our 5G core configured, we need to set up our connectivity. We have two options. We have VPN as well as direct connect. So since we're doing a trial or a lab as a service here, let's use a VPN to start. Step one is to go ahead and create a customer gateway. So I'm gonna create a new one. We'll give it a name. In this case, I'll just give it a name of my tunnel endpoint assign the IP address of the endpoint. And remember, this is the endpoint that's actually in your network. And then the pre-shared key that we'd like to use. Now, the next step is to define 
the IP network that's going to be used for the G node B. So this is the network that's residing in your network. So I'm going to go ahead and enter one as well. And then we'll continue on to finalize the VPN configuration. Now, one of the things we've done here is a paradigm shift. So it's not Nokia defining the IPsec requirements. It's just the opposite. You tell us what meets your standards, and that's what's going to be used in the deployment. So we'll go ahead and finish up the phase two proposal. I'm just going to pick an AES 128, a SHA-1, and a Diffie-Hillman-2. And then while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and enable Direct Connect as well in this deployment. Now we can review what we've selected to deploy. We've given it a name. It's going to be deployed immediately. What we're going to deploy, where we're deploying, so into region cloud with an edge over in Chicago, our traffic model, and then the configuration that's going to be used for this deployment. So let's go ahead and deploy. Now to save some time, I've already deployed one, so I'm going to switch to a core that was previously deployed while this one is deploying. So you can see I have one that's deployed that's local edge. Once the core has been deployed, we can see the status information. And if I expand on the network functions, you can see the 5G core CNFs that have been deployed. Additionally, it tells us how to integrate. The first step would be to set up the VPN connections. And then once that's done, you would go into your G node Bs and point your G node B to the AMF IP address. And this will bring your G node Bs on air. If we want to take a deeper look into what's actually running behind the scenes, we can click on the NCOM URL. And this is the Nokia Cloud Operations Manager. So we'll go ahead and open the NCOM and let me log into it. And the NCOM was deployed as part of this SAS offer. First thing we can see is we have eight network services running, two CAS providers, and one repo. If we were to take a look at the two CAS providers, you'll see that one is clearly the AWS region cloud, and the other is the edge where the UPF is deployed. If we were to take a look at the instances, we would see the particular 5G CNFs that are currently deployed. So let's go ahead and switch screens here, and I'm going to jump into a 5G phone that is connected to this current core. Okay, so I have a 5G phone here. Let me wake it up. First thing we want to do is we're going to open a Chrome and we're going to see what IP address is actually assigned to this phone. Now, you, if you remember, we did bring your own IP address. In this case, the IP that's actually assigned to this user device happens to be 135.109. 194.4. So this phone appears that it is connected to my network, even though it's being served out of an edge and a region cloud. The next thing we can do is go ahead and run a speed test. Let's go ahead and open the speed test and I'll start one. Now remember speed tests are shared resources, so you'll get varied results on the internet when you run them. But we'll let this one complete very quickly here. I see we're running a little over 800 meg. I am running on a sub six band currently N78, if anybody is curious. No. The thing that's probably the most important isn't necessarily the speed that we've got almost 847 down and 111 up. It's the ping time or the latency. This 5G core was deployed with an edge option. So the UPF is in the metro region. I'm running on an unoptimized air interface, which has a approximate latency between 11 milliseconds. So my overall latency that's added by the UPF out to the speed test server is one millisecond or less. And so that's the key here is that the latency is extremely low because we put the edge close to the subscribers. Once again, I'm Ted East with Nokia Core Networks. What I've just shown you is Core Network's software as a service. If you have any further questions, please reach out to your Nokia sales representative. Thank you.